Welcome back to DIY My Way. Several subscribers recently have asked me about this dust shield, the sawdust shield that I've made for my miter saw. So I thought I would take a few minutes to give you the backstory on it and how I made it when I had my shop in the basement and dust control was even more important than it is in this shop. But still, I use it because it really does cut down on the dust that gets flung out from the saw. I love my DeWalt compound miter saw. It's been a great tool except for this itty bitty weenie dust collector. I don't even use it because it catches so little dust, even with a powerful shop vac attached. That's the main reason I built this dust shield. It does a good job of keeping the dust from wandering too far from the saw. In fact, most of it falls right behind the saw. I was literally in the middle of a project and got tired of the dust being slung in my basement shop and just stopped and put this together in just a matter of a few minutes with what I had on hand. So this was made out of scrap that I had. So the dimensions and everything aren't exactly calculated other than to make sure that as I move the thing through its uh, paces, it doesn't get in the way of the saw in any way. Here's a closer look at the range of motion. And here's a look at how the shield deflects the dust down to the floor with no help from the shop vac. As you can see from the floor area around the saw, the sawdust is confined to a fairly small area for easy cleanup. The frame is made from one half inch CPVC pipe because that's what I had on hand. You could just as easily use three quarter inch PVC pipe. It's 20 inches wide by 24 inches long, and it's held on by two two-inch deck screws. I used a piece of clear plastic shower curtain for the shield material, which is held in place with two half-inch lath screws at the bottom and four half-inch lath screws through the grommets in the shower curtain piece at the top. The curtain was cut so that it hangs in a triangle shape on either side and is about 15 by 15. The main support for the frame is a piece of three quarter inch plywood, 20 inches wide by three and a half inches tall. The smaller support on the top keeps the whole thing upright and it is a one half inch piece of plywood, 16 inches wide by two inches tall. It is fastened to the main support with two one inch lath screws. The triangle pieces that the frame is attached to are made from three quarter inch wood that is three and a half inches tall by three and a half inches wide making the angle of the frame 45 degrees. They are attached with two inch deck screws. The whole shield is held on with a single screw. That screw is a two inch number 10 by 24 machine screw. Which threads into a 10 by 24 hole I drilled and tapped into the back of the miter saw sled. Putting the shield on is as simple as tightening one screw. Now again, this was thrown together on the fly and it is specific to this particular DeWalt saw. So how you attach yours is gonna depend on the design and make of your saw. You might find that you may need to be able to, you may be able to clamp this on back here. It really depends on the design, but the most important thing I can tell you is to pay attention to your dimensions and make sure you have clearance in all the positions that your saw can make. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you click that like button. Leave a comment, and by all means, please subscribe. If you want to know when I post new videos, click that little bell. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.